Dave Palumbo with RxMuscle.com. I'm here with Chris, the technician, Aceto, and we are in Madrid, Spain, here for the Arnold Europe 2013. Chris, this might be the best Arnold of the year. Now we have three of them. Next year here, we're going to have five of them. Uh, we have the Olympia lineup here, ready to compete next, uh, I guess, by tomorrow night. Dave, without a doubt, this is the best Arnold we've probably ever seen, ever, because we've got really the whole entire Mr. Olympia lineup, sure. almost, here in Madrid trying to, uh, you know, they're going to battle and, and you know, the placings may go different than uh, it was in Las Vegas a couple weeks ago. I've been in Barcelona four times, never in Madrid. I love it. I got my translator here and camera guy all in one, Johnny Styles, talking to the cab drivers, the front desk at a hotel, all the food people. So I, I can actually communicate. I feel like I, I actually belong here. And, and the funny thing about this show is that, like you said, we have the Olympia lineup here. I don't think we've ever had that before. You're going to have Phil Heath battling it out with Kai Green, Sean Roden, Dennis Wolf. That was the top four at the Olympia. You know, uh, a lot of people think that it could go a different way here this time around because Kai has two more weeks to get ready. Wolf was kind of coming into his own. Uh, maybe he got a little overlooked. Roden is still surging, as you as you mentioned to me earlier. But let's face it, Phil Heath is a three-time Mr. Olympia. What's the odds of him getting knocked off here today? I say he, I say there's no chance. I, I say it's almost impossible to knock off Phil Heath. And like I've said before, you know, when you see Phil Heath on stage by himself or even next to the other guys, it doesn't really carry over to what video and pictures show. He he has people talk about a 3D look. Phil has a three and a half D look, and it it's what gives him the edge when he's going up against people who actually appear to be quote bigger, like Kai Green or Dennis Wolf. So to knock off Phil Heath. Uh, someone has to be at their all-time, all-time best, and Phil has to be off. And the thing with Phil is he's proven three Olympias in a row that it's hard for him to come in off. Well, you said, you and I were arguing on the Heavy Muscle radio show that uh, who would be, would Kai be better or worse given the extra two weeks? Conventional wisdom would say he should be better. You said he would be better. I think he's actually going to be worse than he is at the Olympia. I think the plane flight's a lot for him. I think there's even more stress here for him to try to prove something. And I, I just don't think he's going to dial it in. But if he does, can he win? Well, I, I don't know because we ran into his coach, George Farrow, just recently, 10 minutes ago, and George was downplaying his placing here. Yeah. And, the, you know, the prejudging he hasn't even started. Seemed, he already seemed like he thought he was hearing third place already. He, that, he said that he was hearing th that... He thought he was going to come in third. Actually, so what he told you was that he heard that Milos thought he was going to come in third, which I don't know what that has to do with any sort of reality because I don't know what Milos's connection is to why he would think that 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 that, that would result in Kai coming in third. But let's face it, Dennis Wolf is surging. Obviously, a lot of people felt, you and me included, after the prejudging, that Wolf could have been the winner here. Yeah. Well, you know, getting back, you know, to tie it into Kai Green, what the the person at this show who has something to uh, to lose really is Kai Green because if he's worse than the Olympia, it's a big, you know, uh, especially if he slips. Yeah, it, it's a detriment to his, to his momentum that he's had the last few years. Uh, he doesn't have momentum coming into the show. I mean, people aren't really talking about him. They're talking about uh, Dennis Wolf as probably, you know, the surprise. What if it comes down to a comparison? Just and we are in Europe here. That's right, Wolf versus Kai. Not necessarily for first, but to see who's better. Uh, they have two. Con Definitely contrasts in different physiques. Wolf for sure has a smaller midsection, which Kai struggled with at the Olympia. So, you know, there's a lot on the line for Kai here, and we're going to see, you know, he's got a lot to prove. Let's face it. While Steve Weinberger is going to be the head judge here, we have a probably mostly European judging panel. We know the European judges like Dennis Wolf's look. They love his look. He won in Prague at the end yes, of last year. Yep. Um, can that change of, I guess, perception influence how the final results will come out well i think the the perception part has to do with this coming out of the olympia the perception was that kai came in in the prejudging way off he closed a gap a little bit and for the finals but the perception of dennis wolf was that he was radically better than last year and the expectation is he's had two more weeks with the confidence that he had you know to wow i just came off a big showing at the olympia that he can improve here where it's kai you know, you're coming out of the hole of, wow, you know, there were big expectations. I didn't meet them. So the momentum is clearly behind Dennis Wolf. So to see those those uh, positions switch is a, you know, strong possibility. I think that the uh, the fate of this show rests in Kai Green's shoulders because if he comes in at his best, I feel that there's no one in the lineup that can beat him. 
but we have never seen Kai Green at his best, at least not at the Olympia. He sometimes recovers and, and yeah. gets better from show to show. We've never seen him do two shows in succession recently, since I think 2010 when he won the Arnold and then and went to Australia and looked even better and better. won that yes, show. Fabulous. So he could win the show. But True. let's let's mention last year's winner, Sean Roden. They obviously love Roden in Europe. He cleaned up here last year after the Olympia. Can Roden shock this lineup and maybe move up to that second place spot? I think for sure Sean Roden can shock this lineup. Um, He's uh, he's proven in the last two years that he can peak for multiple, multiple shows. Um, he's coming off a very strong showing at the Olympia, um, and I expect him to be at his absolute best on Saturday. With Dexter Jackson sitting out the show and, and Jay Cutler not in this lineup, uh, that leaves seventh-place finisher at the Olympia, Ruli Winkler, uh, a guy to really watch out for. I mean, you and I both liked the way he looked at the Olympia. It was probably the best he's ever looked. He arguably could have been in that fifth or sixth place spot uh we talked to him a little earlier here today and he and he fired grandma his coach he's doing his own prep he did his own prep for the olympia can really winkler sneak into that top four i think he potentially can uh sneak in what i think he's going to have trouble with is as crazy massive as he is he doesn't have a quote complete as physique as the other guys we just mentioned his lower and his back double his lower lats he, he's just not as polished yet or as complete, though his crazy mass may carry him. There's a possibility. Who knows? It depends on conditioning of who, who we think may come ahead of him and his own conditioning. And at least previously in multiple shows, he's, he's the type of guy, unlike Tony Freeman, who gets better, he gets worse. Tony Freeman, you just mentioned his name. Here's a guy who does well in Europe. He does well from show to show. I saw him in the lobby. He's weighing about 278. I haven't seen him yet today. But don't be surprised if Tony Freeman falls into that top six here and moves up quite a bit from his Olympia showing because they love him in Europe. They love that classic. As Cedric McMillan would say, they love the classic physique. Yeah, no, uh, Tony's dangerous in, in any show. And, and the thing with these shows that are two weeks apart the expectation is people will look somewhat like they did before somebody can really slip up and other people like tony can really move up so you know although the 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 the, the olympia placing seem like a, a guideline for what should happen here anything can happen True. and it's still the arnold meaning there's still a lot of pressure people put on themselves which can affect the way they come out you know at the end of the day Big Rami Elspaye out of the lineup, uh, announced at the last minute that he'll be pulling out of the show. I, I guess he wasn't too happy with the way he looked at the Olympia. Maybe it's better that he takes some time off, maybe get ready for the Arnold Classic. Uh, I think that was a good move on Rami's part. You know, it, it, it's... I'm sure the, the Arnold people would have loved to have seen him, though. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen him here because, you know, he's, he's crazy massive. His proportions are good. You know, if he just... Uh, you know, who knows had he sucked it up for two weeks and, you know, what you look dehydrated like? into the, you know, in, into the arid desert, you know, what he might have looked like, you know, because he's, he's got all the tools. Give me your top four. Uh, top four, no order, is the exact top four from the Olympia. Okay. I'm going to go Phil Heath, Dennis Wolf, Kai Green, since George Farah and Milos gave me that tip. And then I'm going to go with Rodin in fourth. Actually, Rodin in fourth. Uh, fifth place will go to um, Ruli Winkler with sixth place Tony Freeman. That's my top six. In the women's fitness division, the pro fitness division, Adela Garcia, not in not the, the show, show last year. Oksana Grishina is my favorite. I know they love her here in Europe. You I think she you, wins. You love her in Europe and, and the U.S. I, you I love, love her everywhere. You I think she wins you. unanimously. I, I'm looking forward to seeing her Joker routine again. And, it's a little uh, scary. It is a little scary. Sometimes it looks a little zombie-ish. Yeah. But... <laughs> But she always entertains and never ceases to entertain. Uh, Chris, it's going to be an exciting show. We'll be in that front row doing live play-by-play -play this time with, with video and everything. Stay tuned for all the coverage all weekend long only on rxmuscle.com.